Hi guys, it's Jay Gabrielle. I hope you enjoyed today's Kim and Kylie inspired makeup look. I absolutely love the look that the two girls have. So I just wanted to have a go at recreating it. So after sorting out my parting space with a little bit of concealer, I'm just gonna go in and do my eyebrows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. I always start off by drawing a line at the bottom of my eyebrow and then another line at the top of my eyebrow and then I just kind of like blend it in and fill it in with whatever's left on the brush. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the wig that I'm wearing is Model Model Selden in the color two. I will leave a link to the wig review, the original wig review down below in the description box. As usual, I'm cleaning up my eyebrows with my LA Colors cover up stick. I just love the way that this applies, as I say in every video where I'm doing my makeup. And then I'm using this brush just to um, blend it all out. And just so that you know, the brushes that I'm using in this, um, all of them apart from one, which is the one I use for my bronzer, I actually just got them from Amazon. My eyebrow hairs are a bit crazy, so I'm gonna use my e.l.f. clear mascara just to help them stay in place. I'm priming my eyes with this potion from Urban Decay. I actually got this in my Sephora box and if you don't get the Sephora boxes monthly, I definitely recommend that you do. They're so much fun and you get so much fun products in them just to have a try. I'm starting off by adding this really pretty burnt orange shade just in my crease and then I'm gonna follow up with that golden okra and I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid. On top of that, I'm then gonna add Half Baked from the Naked palette because Kim kind of has like this really nice shimmery gold on her eyelids. And I'm using Half Baked instead of Primavera from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette because it's just a slightly different shade of gold. And I'm being extra. Next, I'm taking that Cypress Umber shade and I'm gonna pat that onto my lash line. I'm also gonna take some more of that Burnt Orange and pat that onto my eyelid just on the outer side. And I'm also gonna add a little bit more underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of glow. I like this orangey shade, so I'm just gonna put that on my brow bone. And now it's time to go in with this illuminating face primer. It's amazing, it's so gold, and I just love it. And of course, the look wouldn't be complete without more glow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and smother this all over my chest. And I'm actually, I take some of the primer as well, the gold primer, and I add that too. For lashes, I'm using the Ardell Wispies. Usually I apply these with my fingers, but today I'm using the tweezers because my nails are so long. And then after applying them, I'm just gonna use my mascara just to help blend my lashes with the fake lashes. This Maybelline Fit Me foundation has kind of been like my everyday foundation. I really like it. I'm just gonna use a foundation brush to apply it to my cheeks. And then when I get to my forehead, just cause it is a little bit smaller, I'm just gonna take the paint brush looking brush and then apply and blend that out. I know I sound terrible. I'm not like one of these girls who's like, I've got the NW5680 brush, but yeah, this is what works for me. And I'm going back into my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and taking burnt orange, and I'm just gonna extend that a little bit down my nose. This is a bomb drugstore concealer from Maybelline. I definitely recommend it. I'm putting it in all of the usual places and then I'm also gonna extend it just around the sides of my mouth just because I have like smile lines. But yeah, this stuff is so good. The coverage is just really nice and I'm blending that out with my fingers just because that's what I prefer to do. And I'm saying that with my NYC translucent powder and I don't really do a bake per se. I just kind of add enough so that way it makes my face look a little bit more matte. Kim and Kylie both kind of have like orangey peachy tones. So to contour, I'm using this shade from my Freedom Makeup Palette. And it's really nice just because it does have those kind of more orangey reddish tones. After blending that out, I'm taking this shade from my e.l.f. bronzer palette and I'm gonna put that all over my cheeks and also onto my forehead and just kind of work it into my hairline a little bit as well. And then I also put it on my body. My husband had a right laugh at the way that I apply my fixing spray, but that's just the way I do it. I like to shake my head into the mist. I'm highlighting pretty much the normal places, but I'm also gonna add some to my forehead and chin just because the girls look really glowy. And I actually got this highlighter from my Sephora Playbox, so yeah, it is really good. I'm adding a little bit of lip liner just to give my lips a bit of color, and then I'm gonna top it with this matte color from NYX Lingerie. And then to top that off, just because Kim has kind of shimmery lips, I'm using this shade from Wet n Wild just to add a bit of shimmer. Yeah. 